In this video, we'll discuss XRP's future and the cryptocurrency market. Yes, those lower targets for Bitcoin are still in effect. Those who are covered should not be concerned. We will also conduct an investigation, and experts predict that XRP will reach its peak by Christmas. You heard that it's at an all-time high by Christmas. That right Brad Garlinghouse reveals his estimate of how much cryptocurrency, potentially $5 trillion, he may own. If you're underestimating it, I've got you covered, so let's begin. Bitcoin, currently trading at $63,900, has experienced a decrease of 3.1% over the past day. With Ethereum trading at $2.62, down 1.71%, and USDT and USDC trading at $0.99 cents each as XRP it's up, but it's also down. It is currently down 4% from the previous day. It didn't break when it spiked above $0.66, cents, a crucial point of resistance. It was not stable. We use $0.60. Cents. We aim to maintain this crucial level, but what would happen if XRP dropped below 60 cents? Do not worry. We could potentially shave 60 cents off our list. It's going to shatter once more. For you, 66 cents is a new goal. I've provided three key benchmarks for XRP's decline and rise. We fully anticipate surpassing those targets by year's end, and we expect a tremendous price surge for the entire cryptocurrency market cap of $2 trillion, or $254 billion, by 2025. If you haven't already, it's time to take action. The movies contain information that is comparable to any other source. Everyone has one to two minutes throughout the day to prepare themselves for the bull cycle. Together, let's expand this channel. Today is your last day to obtain NFTs. The payments for tomorrow obtain your NFT immediately. Ensure you sign it, and keep in mind that we make rewards on the first of every month. If you wish to purchase a pride tier tomorrow when we pay dividends, you must hold it. A $165 credit card or XRP everything accepts XRP, so if you're looking to upgrade to a credit card that pays out three times as much, grab an older model. We returned more than 1 million XRP to our cherished holders. We expect both Bill B and XRP to decline in tandem with Bitcoin. Bitcoin controls this market, nothing has changed. Nothing here will change the behavior of XRP and Bitcoin either. Recall that as Bitcoin appreciates, XRP will also appreciate. It's encouraging to see XRP reach 60C. Now, let's see how far Bitcoin will go when we closely examine its price and movement. The previously mentioned targets are still relevant. Why is that so? To put it simply, Bitcoin has not surged above 72,000. Last week, I covered it and shared my thoughts with you. At times, Bitcoin fluctuated significantly. The entire market was extremely optimistic, and the sentiment surrounding cryptocurrencies was at an all-time high but Bitcoin didn't move much. It still needs to break above $72,000 to reach its target of $88,000, which will also help push up the values of other assets. Bitcoin may perhaps reach its potential range of $50,000 to $55,000. Yes, this means that the value of your preferred altcoin will decrease as a result. Given Bitcoin's market dominance, we have yet to see a dedicated cryptocurrency season. Nevertheless, people are demanding an all-seasons campaign, which won't happen until this year. Bitcoin is going to have a wild ride. 80% of the time, tomorrow is October. Is October only going to get better? It's an extremely bullish and green month. Bitcoin may still show bearish trends in October, which could affect the entire market if we get worried. However, we are ready for this eventuality. My finances are still on the sidelines. Remember, I buy quant every Monday for $800, with $78 being my break-even point. As I promised you today, I will provide you with an update. If we'd reached 78, I would have transferred my funds from quant to another coin. However, since we haven't reached that milestone, how am I doing? This is how the doll cost average operates. You continue to purchase until your DCA is met. 
As of right now, when I create another video at 7 a.m. over here on the East Coast, I am buying Quan another $800 worth, which will assist in decreasing my DCA. Next week, we will reassess the pricing. Mine began at 110 and is currently at 78. If Quant rises past my 78 price point, I will no longer be making purchases. If I am green, I will rotate my purchases, and if not, I will divert my funds elsewhere. I simply said that, and that's what I'm trying to communicate. Experts from Michael Branch predict significant changes for XRP shortly. Let me explain. This exceeds the XRP price for the weekend. The price has increased by more than 12% to $0.66 cents from the Friday close of $0.58. Cents. Tell me where you could find 12% annual stock market growth. If you receive 12% annual stock market growth, you are doing well. Just this past weekend, we observed a consistent trend. A well-known trader and Bitcoin expert shared his thoughts on SUI, which was unfamiliar to me. As you can see, they were present even during the initial return of XRP to the $0.65 cent range. As we near the conclusion of this narrative, we anticipate a significant surge. He is requesting a price range of $3 in the interim, with the expectation of reaching $3 by Christmas. I would like to see that happen. I have nothing against it. Observe the increase in XRP. Many XRP influencers are starting to speak negatively about XRP as the price rises this year, and we expect it to rise even further the following year. We can't have pleasant things because they only appear when the price is rising. When it falls, they prefer to double down. Am I right? Yes, your goals no longer exist. In this instance, the XRP should not be altered to exceed 75 cents with a closing. Remember, you cannot simply tap it. By the end of the year, we need to maintain the XRP at 75 cents, as we did at 66 before it declines further. By the end of this year, I genuinely think there is a 99.9% .9 possibility that we'll see an XRP of 75, which will position us for a new all-time high in 2025 and at least a $6 XRP. If the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies reaches $7 to $1 trillion, it will represent a significant milestone. Brad Jinghouse says that although he thought his $5 trillion projection by year's end was a tad too low, I'm going to play the interview in today's second video instead. Expect $0.75 cents before year's end. The higher we go, the more spectacular the bull run. Many people believe the bull cycle will stop in 2025, but I don't think it will. I believe it will end in 2025, regardless of when it happens. In the summer of 2025, I have the parabolic blow-off tops for alts, may that change 100%? It's too long, we're still approximately 9 months into that period. Since it's hard to predict, we're waiting for it to rise this year. Proceed in 2025, but keep in mind that Bitcoin hasn't yet taken off, so the cryptocurrency bull cycle bull run isn't ending this year. At the absolute latest, we would need to witness Bitcoin's hyperbolic blow-up peak in October or early November before all that money rotates and gives us a 46. I'm not seeing the insane November, December run-up with the enormous blow-off mass of 205100 x's in the altcoin market at the end of the year. Everything is mine. My forecasts are set for 2025. Stock critics, such as the previous boss, believe that $0.66 cents represents the final wave and the final threshold that XRP must surpass. He asserts that we were positioned just ahead of it and that $0.6649 was his intended target. He claims that XRP bounced at $0.6655, almost exactly aligning with his target. I believe this will change once we cross the $0.75 cent threshold. In my opinion, the ultimate boss is comparable to the boss level. We completed the first boss level, which was 60. In this Bitcoin game, the first boss is typically the easiest, followed by the second boss, which becomes slightly harder but still manageable for beginners, and the ultimate boss, which costs 75 cents. When we approach the super boss, hidden boss, or secret boss, we are approaching the all-time high levels from 2017, which are currently hovering around the $280 to $3 mark. 
That will be our most significant challenge. We can't surpass that threshold on our initial attempt. This is because many individuals who have been holding XRP for seven years and are heavily invested in it are likely to sell out. They intend to flee as soon as possible. If they get it, they will flee. There is an opportunity to break even on it. Currently, my focus is not on XRP but rather on the market. Keep in mind that this can be a pre-swell pump. This may be the enthusiasm surrounding the stablecoin's launch at Swell, as I've said publicly, I do think there will be a slight decline in XRP. In my opinion, 60 cents won't be a significant obstacle. One more significant hurdle despite my belief that we should currently monitor 66.75, I'm inclined to remain cautious. I'm preparing for the dip. I know I've been saying this for a while, but I still haven't taken any action. How am I open and honest about that decision, as well as my purchases of other cryptocurrencies?